Thanks for joining. This is Movado, and I'm back here with another episode of the Rat Pack Really Plays series here in Reforged Eden 1.9. Uh, right after the land of last episode, I was out in Anvil Space clearing out a sector. Uh, well, I did uh, go back. I did make a few hamster cores. I mined some gold. Um, I did put a hamster core in the ship, but honestly, I haven't installed any upgrades in it, so it still has the same shield, etc. Uh, but I did reload on ammo, so I now have enough ammunition to go through and take out one of these dreadnoughts. Um, I was just in here. I took out a couple of the other ships around the area. Right now, there's two frigates and two dreadnoughts remaining. My strategy with this sector was to take out all the smaller ships first, um, and then go after the supremacy dreadnoughts. I was talking to some other members of the Rat Pack who have been in here before, and, you know, like them, the first couple times through, you are just kind of blowing the ship apart, trying to find the cores. Um, I did find out on the Supremacy Dreadnought, while there, I don't think there are any uh, foundation blocks, I was kind of talking about that last, that last episode, I think those are on the Corrupted ones. I do know roughly where the core is located, and I did find out uh, some strategy on how to face those in terms of going from the bottom of the ship rather than the top and then where to target on the ship to hopefully quarter a little bit faster without using a you know, few thousand rockets to blow it to pieces. So first thing here is I am going to clear out these couple frigates, um, get rid of those, loot them up really quick. These are pretty easy. The frigates are, are you know, the core is roughly in the center of these guys. So I'm going to take out its shields. And then I'm going to core it really quick, get its loot, and then I'll move on. Like I said, I took out a couple other ships in this sector already, so I do have a few hamster core pieces. Uh, right now, at this point, I probably have enough for about three hamster cores, and that includes uh, what I've randomly looted earlier in this season through all the other ultra rares. And here I'm going to go for the middle. I'm probably just going to nose ram it just to get it to stop really quick. That still works on a lot of these ships. right in that middle there. I'm going to turn off my explosives. Uh, he doesn't want to stop moving. Come on, buddy. Play nice. There we go. There it is. He's dead. A little bit faster than the last episode, right? I'm kind of getting used to these ships now. Uh, I found that, you know, a lot of these, these ships... Um, are able to be uh, almost you know stopped by taking out the rear thrusters. So that is one strategy on a lot of these ships. And, you know I think they you know they're designed that way so you could disable the rear thrusters and then go in and you know te technically board the ship if you will. So that is an option on most of these ships is to just go through and disable the rear thrust. Okay. You know, like I said, these are the containers we're looking for. This is what I've gotten so far today. Let me check the other ones really quick. Go through the P menu. Core. Oh, we're going to get those really quick. There's one, there's the other. And we're going to boogie on out of here. That's it. That's all I'm here for. I'm not going to touch the thrusters or the uh, turrets on it. Don't care. Okay. Now hopefully by the end of this episode, both of those supremacy dreadnoughts are dead. Um, we'll see. Should be able to get them down pretty quickly though. When I face them, my strategy is going to change. Currently, I'm just targeting generators on these ships. Um, on the dreadnoughts, I'm going to target turrets. And I'm going to try to stay on the bottom of it so over time I can kind of strip its ability to attack me. But to start the fight, I'm probably going to come from the rear of the ship and target its thrusters. And, and it does have embedded thrusters buried inside the ship. So they're not all in the back. I can't completely stop it like some of the other ships. I'm speaking about the Dreadnought. Um, but I will at least take out some of its rear thrusters to slow it down. 
that way when I go for the coring shots it's not moving quite as fast and uh, and I can take it down a little bit easier hopefully with more precise shots my intention is to take out the frigate first although he is pretty close to this dreadnought and that makes me a little nervous, but I'm going to try to take him out anyway. Alright, EMP's on. Just to check your weapon, manual weapon reloads while you're flying. And the key to look for when you're in play fields like this is, are those icons still moving? If they are not moving, see how that moved? It moved again. That They're all moving. That means they're still in sync. If you ever look at your map and those icons are completely still and they never move on their own, that's when you want to be worried about desync, where the, where the ship may not be where it looks like it is. Generally, if you're playing solo, you don't run into that very often. That's usually more of a multiplayer thing, but it seems to be getting worse lately. Um, so, you know, like I think I said in a previous episode, that's why I, I'd like to do these fights solo, is so you don't have to worry about the desync issues. All right, I am hopefully gonna take this guy out without alerting that dreadnought, but if I have to leave this guy behind, I certainly will. Yeah, the dreadnought's about to come into render range. There he is. And he is coming this way, I can see. dead. See, he's not moving right now. That, make, that makes me nervous. So I want to drive up. There he is. Okay. Where is this guy right here? going to be really fast about this and I'm really just going to get this and run and run wow this soul crusher has a decent amount of shields and weapons it cannot um, sit there undefended okay here he is he is moving Uh, let me reload really quick, and then while that's going on, I'm going to go in the P menu, and I'm changing. I'm going to do turrets and thrusters, because I'm going to try to come in behind him. Those don't matter. Turret thrusters I'm applying, and I will end up using my artilleries on this fight. Okay. Here we go. Round two at the Supremacy. Well, a little more prepared round of the supremacy, I should say. Okay, so that is the top of the ship that we're seeing there. Uh, this is going to be a little bit different of a fight. We're going we're gonna to flip around eventually and go for the bottom of his ship. But for now, I want to come around behind and just blow out his thrusters. And here, I'm just going to space bar and kind of flip around him a little bit. me. 
Okay, here we go. EMPs are on. You're about to see the, the Tesh stuff shoot. Swarm launchers. There's the Tesh little balls. And I'm going to try to stay about this distance from them in the back. Actually, I'm going to try to get closer to his bottom. There we go. Soft underside. back away and just recharge some shields and then you know what for now I get good shields there he just flipped oops those guys stay off I'm gonna stop targeting thrusters shield has not yet started recharging again. This is a bottom fight, so I'm going to come around, flip around the top, take away his line of sight. Looks like his shield isn't recharging too fast. Uh, although I do want to get in here and start taking it down pretty quick. Get some shots on him. going for the turrets. I should be sniping those off pretty good. You can see explosions down there. You know, honestly, with all those heavy lasers, the thing I like about them is... Ooh, you're going to do your flip, too. The heavy lasers do a really nice job, actually, against stripping turrets. Um, while they're not the most effective, there's enough of them where they actually make a pretty big difference. Okay. A little squirrely guy here. You can see, obviously, I'm taking a lot of his turrets off. And honestly, I don't care. I'm not after his turrets. my shields here. Okay, I'm going to back away now. There we go. Okay, let's check where the other dreadnought is. Ooh, he's not too far away. Yep, and I am kind of upside down on the play field right now, which is what you expect during this fight. Kind of wonder if I should be taking out its rear thrusters. Alright, I'm going to go back in there and get some shots on it to stop it from recharging. So, yeah, I'm still recharging here myself.
Oh, the other one's in, in the rent. The other one's right here. That's going to be interesting. I'm going to back away for a second. Oh, that's the one I must have poked at the other day when I was in here. This is the other one. Because his shield is down. Well. Seeing he's desynced. He's not moving. my shield here. Oh, there he goes. Now he's out of render. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to change up and I'm going to target thrusters. Um, and you're going to target thrusters. Actually, I'm going to do it on both. And we're going to slow this guy down. Oh, he's, uh... artillery. Ah, should have my EMPs on. All right, here we go. Just trying to take out some thrusters. You're about to see lots of explosions here. Taking out its, its thrusters and its rear turrets. Yeah, there's all those blue explosions are definitely thrusters going. And then eventually I'm going to start stripping all those turrets off the back. Here the artillery's working nice. Yeah, he is almost stopped, I think. Yep, he is... He's having a rough go at it right now. He's having a hard time moving. Okay, so I'm going to back away and resurvey the play field. Again, he is moving, so that's a good thing. Yep, he's moving. And now I'm going to stop targeting thrusters. Okay. Yeah, look at that. He's barely moving, if at all. Okay, so now I can flip around. And now it's now it's now it's go time. Here we go. Look at this. This is how you do it. This is how you do it. If I had taken out the thrusters from the start, you know this would have been a lot easier. Get a value of EMPs in there. off artillery. I think it's going to be right about in here. Oh, he is moving a little bit. I'll turn off the explosive. Oops, I think that was too far back. I'm barely taking any damage right now. Oh, that one didn't even register, I don't think. 
Okay, so I've been told there's an open hangar, which you can see is right there, and it's in front of that. So I think where I just hit right there is a good spot. I've also been told it's encased in Xeno. Alright. So I'm going to aim... Right about there. Maybe if I can ram it. Uh, he won't stop. I'm going to turn my explosives back on just to get some more damage here. Okay. Yep. There's... I think it's right in here. Why is my shield so low? I wasn't paying attention. Alright, back and out, gonna recharge really quick. 35. Alright, I need to get rid of those turrets that were zapping me up there. I see you. You little green balls. And I'm targeting you now. have uh, an EMP bubble that I'm not seeing. Okay, let's get those explosives off. Yeah, because I am not taking any damage right now. Oh, there those guys are. They would target the front of the ship. Come on, get those turrets out of here. There you go. That's what I wanted to see. That one destroyed. I saw the green poof. That one's going to be gone too now. charging. Time to turn explosives off. Now I just need to watch my shields. That's a bunch of Xeno right there, honestly. Hundred percent my shields are at, which is good. And now it's just time. And now it's just time to find it. What's that set up there?
That was where the hangar was, so I think it's up here somewhere. I think it's up here. I'm going to turn my lasers off. There it is, got it. Got it, cord. Okay, where's the other dreadnought? He's moving. Okay, that's one. Now, all these guys, there's gonna be tons of ultra rares in here, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm turning all my shit on. So if anything gets even close to in range, it's gonna make a lot of noise. Okay, well that's supremacy one, done. Uh, these guys do have a box in them with an actual core, kind of like a quantum box, except it's a hamster box, so you get either a small or a large hamster. I'm sure a lot of you are thinking, of course, the streamers, look, it's, of course it's going to be a large hamster for me, right? Well, we shall see. All right. Supremacy drops on hamster. It's a small, see? I don't get everything all the time. I'm not lucky all the time. Ooh, another energy pulse rifle. More pieces. Yep. I don't care about the ammo. I'm gonna do this one quick. I know there's a lot of good turrets on this guy. But now that I've seen it, now that I saw where that shot went, now I can do it a little bit better the next time. Cargo, oh my gosh, there's so many containers in here. Let me check my uh, thing. So, so one of our faction uh, faction guys. Uh, was looting a ship and a supremacy came by and, and may have blown up his ship so I am going to be extra cautious that was why I wanted to clear everything else in this thing before I uh, before I came into before I took out one of these so nothing else snuck up on me and I have no idea where anything is in this guy so this is I think Jay Randall's supremacy uh, on the workshop, really cool build, uh, but you know, it's going to be a maze. It is going to be a maze, and I have no idea where anything is in this ship. So, some of you may uh, frown at this, but I may just end up leaving this one, go kill the other one. Yeah, there's loot boxes up there. I may just go kill the other one and forfeit some of the loot in here, honestly. Put that in the hamster core box. Alright, well good, you know what, honestly, I'm sorry, I'm just going to leave the rest of this on this ship and say, F it. Because <laughs> it's not worth losing my ship over, I'll tell you that. Okay, now I'm going to pull my core. Oh, I do want to take this stuff out of that core box. Let's see if there's anything else close. There's one, there's two. Okay, good enough. I'm out for real this time. And now we're going to take out the second dreadnought. He is still five miles away. Generators and turrets. Or sorry, not generators. Thrusters and turrets.
Okay. Here we go. Oh, you know what I should do before I leave? There's a lot of turrets, a lot of turrets on this guy. I'm gonna salvage up a few of those with my multi-tool. Yeah, look at all those turrets. Um, because that will be fast. Just zap, zap, zap. They're gone. On the next one, I'll go through it more thoroughly. So when I kill the next one, I will not just do this quick, steal a bunch of stuff, and then run. I will do a more thorough overview of it. But with two in the sector, hey, it's got to do what you got to do, right? Fill my pataxa tank. Got most of it, but there's still some over here. I don't really care about the manual weapons, to be honest. then one thing I didn't look at is where the core was. So it was in this hole. It was right, I believe, in this area right in here. So if you look at the ship, right, you have these side thrusters. You had the hangar was right here. I believe the core is kind of right in this area right in here. And if you look at it, you can kind of see it's just webbed. Is that Xeno? Check how far out that guy is. Eight and a half. I got some time here. So I definitely had a lot of shots that were too far forward in the nose. Oh, yeah, this is, you know, it is Web Zeno. It was right in the middle here, though. I guarantee that's where it was. You got a huge cube here. So it's going to be right in the middle, which is almost right where that taper is. Straight across. That's where it is. That's where the core is. Alright, yeah, I was in this room already. Yeah, and you don't want to come through the nose of it either. Look at all that Xeno that's in there. Okay, I've had enough of this one. Honestly, I'm not even sure how much more would be left in it. I'm sure there's some hidden boxes somewhere. But that's going to do it for that one. For real this time. <laughs> okay, on to the next one. Now you've seen it. Now you've seen it once. Uh, time to fly across the system. While I'm flying, I'm going to restock my Pataxid. Only 300. Oh, there was some. Oh, those swarm missiles. I probably could have lifted. Maybe I could have lifted those as whole turrets. I'll look at that next time. Okay. Let me double check targeting turrets and thrusters is correct because I'm going to come in from behind it. Uh, I'm going to turn explosives and arties off. And then, let's reload.
hopefully this one gives me a large quantum or large uh, hamster core. I mean, I couldn't be that unlucky. I mean, I'm streaming. It's got to be at least one large. Well, I guess I'm recording, not streaming, but either way, you know what I mean. Okay, we're just a few miles out on this guy. We're all reloaded. We're set here. Ammunition. Still looking really healthy. Almost out of, uh, out of arties. Okay, that's good to know. Not that they really... Whatever, that's fine. I have enough EMPs and cruise missiles to cover for it. Whoops. Alright, you can see where he's at. Oh, he's at 86%. That's right, I, I beat this guy up a little bit. And I am going to, again, I find sometimes just space bar lifting and rolling across them is better and easier to get get where you wanted to in position. Yeah, let's see what you got here, buddy. See, he's not even 100% from the other day. Now it's going to be some big booms. That'll be a good shot. Taking on all those drive thrusters. Weaken them quite a bit. There, those blue explosions are what you want, what you want to see. And I can work at a bit of a range here. Um, yeah. Nice thing about doing this from from uh, behind the ship, I think I've mentioned this before, is you can always just easily back away, which I'm going to do right here. I'm going to recharge my shield a little bit. He's still taking damage, so his shield isn't going to start recharging. But this strategy of going behind, taking out the thrusters, is my preferred strategy uh, versus nose punching it like a Tovera. Uh, the game works better this way, it just less glitches and stuff. Okay, I'm going to dip back in. Hopefully he doesn't start recharging, but yeah, there he goes, of course. Either way, his shield won't last long. There's Thruster, which where his shield goes. And I'm intentionally rolling side to side, left and right on the Dreadnought, so that way if my turret, if there's thrusters on both sides, they kind of target both sides. Kind of mix it up a little bit. Alright, I'm going to back away now. My artillery must be out of ammo. Not hearing those anymore. Okay. He is pretty much stopped. Just like before. No longer gonna target thrusters. See, he's barely moving. If I have any arty left, which I don't think I do, I'm out. Look at this, he's not moving. Okay, and now we flip over. And if you remember from the last one, it was right where the taper was, so I am going to... Well, I'm just going to strip some turrets off of it first. Reload. Exposes its soft underbelly like a turtle. Like a turtle.
All right, now we should start stripping these turrets. Here we go. That was too far forward. Okay, and now I'm intentionally moving towards the rear of the ship more. So my turrets will target different turrets on its ship. And I'm moving from the right side to the left side. I rock a little bit. You know, all that's super important. All this movement I'm doing isn't, uh, isn't, you know, random. There's a reason why I'm doing it. Through that hits. Too far forward, actually. Is he gonna, is he gonna run into that asteroid? Because that would be awesome. Although the nice thing with this one, he is going to run into it. And he is... appears stuck on it. That's funny. Oh, that's going to miss. He got free. Now this would be a good spot for, like, rail guns. The heavy rail guns, although I haven't gotten that schematic yet. God, I need to take out the swarm launchers. The rail guns are really good at block damage, uh, especially like turrets and stuff that I'm trying to strip here. So if you had the heavy rail gun, that would be a good spot. You know, this is a good place to use it. Even the large Vulcans do a really good job, from my experience, against turrets. And also for coring holes in ships to get through the generators. Um, they're best against, in my opinion, block damage and devices. People tend to think they're good for drones, which I think they have accuracy issues, honestly, on drones. Okay, I'm going to move back in. So, yeah, that's why I like to use them for blocks. But I don't have any of those here. Uh, it would actually, gosh, she'll she just pop down there. That was a pretty good shot right there where I hit it. That was probably a pretty good shot right there. Yeah, I'm going to keep my distance. Alright, I'm going to get rid of these little green ball things up here because I think it must have something that I'm not seeing that does a lot of shield damage in bursts. Kind of like those legacy disruptor cannons, the big bubbles. I saw it on other ships, I'm just not seeing it render on this one. But I'm, I'm seeing the shield damage that tells me it's here. Okay, I think, I think his uh, turrets are out and all there. That was a pretty good shot, I believe. Okay, that's it. Enough of those. I am recharging. Yep, right there's the striped block, and I determined it was right kind of where that taper is. So where I really want to be aiming, I'm going to turn my lasers off now, just let my other ones go. Right about in there is kind of where you want to be aiming. See, and now I'm fighting this, I don't have to worry about anything else in this sector, and that's kind of what you want. Get right in there. That was a pretty good shot. Plasma. Oh, shut off those. Okay, sorry. I was hearing my plasma shoot, and I was confused. That was a pretty good shot. I might even see... No, that's not the core up there. I think that was a good shot. I'll find it eventually. It's in here. 
and then I'll go through this one in more in more detail. That took out a decent amount. Just can't hook on it. Oh, there I stopped it. I think I might see where it is. Maybe it's up there. Yeah, okay, so maybe it's up here. Maybe not. Oh, there's a turret there, so it's, I wonder if it's up there then. Oh, there's the core. I can see it. Literally, I can see it. It's right there. Cord. So you can see it was right there, which is directly between these side thrusters. So you've got a side thruster right here, and you've got a side thruster. Turn this off right here. And it was basically dead center right in the middle of it. That's where you want to aim for these. All right, number two, supremacy dead, sector cleared. Let's get some loot, let's get some hamsters, and let's see what my luck is on this guy. And now I can be a little bit more at ease because there's nothing left in this sector, so thrusters off. That's good enough. All right, let's see what we got here. And we've got a large, see, I mean, it's 50-50, so that, that's pretty good, that's a large hamster. Uh, a couple pieces there, a couple pieces are at one piece there. Eat your waffles and bread. Okay, now I know I found a couple loot boxes right up here, or was that maybe down a level? Oh. Okay, there's an elevator. Well, that was pretty good, though. I'm going to keep going through this for sure. That was pretty good, though. I mean, those two fights, once you learn where the core is... Uh, definitely not too bad of a fight, and it definitely made it easier to disable rear thrusters, get it to slow down, strip its soft turtle underbelly. Uh, I know there was some back here somewhere. Let me look at the back of the ship again. Oh, look at that. Ultra rare. There one on this side to match. Ooh, there is. Definitely missed those the first time I went through it. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna try to. Oh, there's no gravity here either. With CPU, yeah, 14 million. Yep. Can't turn on the gravity gens, that's for sure. I will need oxygen here soon, so I might have to get that. Me a lot of turrets. Okay, while I'm here, let's take a look at the turrets. Heavy artilleries. Okay, those are good. Imperial particle beams. I'm going to lift those for sure. POI. Those are not going to be able to use. 
modulated lasers, look at that, the gammas, cruise missiles, heavy lasers, heavy lasers, uh, alien missile turret, whatever those are, probably nothing, EMP, alien, what is this? Base capital vessel, 18,400. Well, this is usable. You'll have to buy the ammo. Would well, that be usable on a ship? I'm going to totally steal those and check them out. We saw all these cruise missiles and lasers, alien missiles, which, whatever. Yeah. Just wreck the back of this thing. Let me look at closer to the nose if there's any swarms on here or if I destroyed them all. Here's a swarm launcher with negative 9,700 hit points. Ooh. It's a tough guy. Two swarm launchers. Heavy beam laser. What is a heavy beam laser turret? Base capital vessel. Interesting. Ammunition not needed. Heavy laser. Heavy beam lasers. Imperial heavy plasma battery. Yeah, I'm going to lift all these turrets whole. That's for sure. Actually, while I'm here, before I forget... That's right, I need a picture. Okay. Coming soon to a video near you. That picture. We're just going to save Supremacy Dreadnought. Bam. Take a look at this, maybe in creative or something. Even though you know where the core is. Okay, now that we went through this level, we went through level 4... Yep, gonna go down. Where's level three? Right here. Where it says three. Ooh, look at oh, these are the ones I was looking for. Ooh, there's some extenders. I missed those last time. That's for sure. Oh, that's where the that's where the okay, that's where the uh, boxes are. Oh, I thought I was connected. Silly me. Okay, that's this room. Well, this was a good room. I may have blown that out on the one that it killed. I don't know. Oh, this side's got even more. Is there a loot box back here? Yep. Ultra rare rocket launcher and some optronics. Didn't do that. Okay. I think it was over the block limits on extenders. Oh my god. It was over the block limits. It's terrible. Terrible. Just kidding. Okay, let's see what else is here. I'm not going to be complaining about the optronics it yields, though, so we'll let it slide this time. Uh, this looks like a secure cockpit area. Okay, blast door entrance there. Not blast door entrance here. This is the hallway. Random medical cart. Where does this go down to? It's behind that. Oh, I didn't take the fuel out. Alright, enough of the fuel tanks. And the oxygen. Get back up here. See if there are any more loot containers. And I'm about to leave, that's fine. 
big ship. The reason why I'm looking is because some of these can have the lost cargo. And if you get an anvil lost cargo, it gives you uh, a hamster, I believe, when you turn it in at, at a trade station. There. What is that? Uh, a lost cargo, nonetheless. I mean, that's they can be in there. Some spoiled food. this hallway. There's a door here. And I can guarantee no matter how many rooms I look at, I'm going to miss some stuff. Oh, look at that. on the dreadnought itself. And I don't know where I am on this ship, but I'm just going to keep wandering through it. Gotta be getting close to the front. Oh, yep, I am very close to the front. I don't see anything here. This might actually be the front of the ship. Yep, I think this is it. This is the front. Check this side. My oxygen's still doing okay. I checked that already. Didn't go in here. I wish you could find armor in armor lockers. Puts a motorbike construction kit in a closet. I mean, seriously. I'll grab a couple bandages. A couple more. Okay, that should be it for this room. I already got that one over there. Let's go back. I'm going to check this random medical cart. Hey, look at that. Okay. Check this room. Door over here. Alright. That's a shield generator. anything else in here right now. Yep, nothing here. There's so much RP aspect in this ship, like accessibility to everything, it's crazy. Oh, here's some. Ooh, Ooh that's a good box. One on that side. 
Yep, there's one right here. Oh, right in the back of the ship. I probably missed these last time. Well, I think that's going to do it for the interior. I'm going to leave that salvage core on there. Uh, oh, I've got everything in my harvest controller. I'm going to push it all into my container controller. Unlink. I'm going to lift off those turrets, and I'm going to see what I all retrieve from them. This will be interesting.
All right, well, I think that's going to do it. Shoot, my mic was on mute there for a second. I was going around getting all those turrets. Uh, let's go back into my inventory, and we can kind of take a look at what we all got. So all the heavy lasers, uh, the small oxes, those were the, 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 uh, the swarm missile launchers. The swarm missile launchers, that's those guys. Light BOI, you know, these are, these are okay, these missiles, the light beams. The Imperial Particle Beams are really nice. Modulated Gammas are pretty sweet. Uh, it's too bad we didn't get the Swarm Launchers, though. And then, if I look in here... Yeah. It's a pretty, uh, pretty good set of loot, that's for sure. Okay. Well, that's going to wrap it up. If you have any questions, please do let me know. Otherwise, that's a supre you know, Supremacy Dreadnought. Easy to kill. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button, and hope to see you next time. Take care, everyone. Thanks.